Okay, today I'm going to talk about the Zensi. I'm going to go with Zensi. I have no idea if that's correct. But the Zensi Labs quick keys are basically a bunch of shortcut buttons and a rotary knob. This is the kind of thing I have wanted for a long time. I recently got the Stream Deck, and it's a very similar uh, device that just has a bunch of programmable buttons. Those are all LED buttons, so you can have... Uh, different screens and different stuff. There's a button down at the bottom here that I'm actually not sure what it does. I did not do very much research on this at all because I just wanted to get it and unbox it. So let's do it. This is not gonna be an ASMR video because I only have the microphone pointed at me. You won't be able to hear most of the packaging noise. Okay, first of all, the package, I don't care about at all. Let's just get it out of there. You're welcome. Okay, so here is the actual device itself. is pretty. I like it. Oh, the rotary knob feels really nice. There's no there's no clicks. It's just completely smooth. That is a button down there. I wasn't sure what that was. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these other shortcut programmable shortcut buttons. There's on off switch down there. The bottom is um, rubbery, just like the stream deck, so it doesn't move around too much. Oh, I turned it on. Ah, I see, it's a slide slide switch that. That is a, a slide switch that turns it on. Yeah, the hardware itself looks really nice, very simple. Then we got some accordion manual. They give you an extremely nice carrying case, which I actually do appreciate. Okay, so I haven't done anything for this yet. I haven't installed any of the software. I'm just doing the open box. What do you call this? Unboxing. <laughs> and yeah, that USB cord is very nice. Um, it does seem to already have some charge, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Put this back in the very nice carry case, <laughs> actually. It's... So nice. Something in here. What the heck is this? Oh, that's the USB. Oh, that's an adapter. Wait, there's something else. So yeah, there should be a USB receiver. There it is. That's the USB receiver. And then there's a... Oh, that's great. It comes with a USB to USB-C adapter, which I will definitely utilize on my Chromebook, uh, as long as this works with a Chromebook. I haven't looked into that yet. And I won't need the USB-C adapter right now. I won't need the USB cord right now. I will need the USB receiver. Oh yeah, that's a button too. I completely forgot. That's a button, that's a button. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten total buttons plus the jog wheel and uh, the jog wheel is nice and smooth there's no clicks to it i don't know if i would rather have the clicks oh it's got a kensington lock port so you can lock it up which actually that there's a lot of cases where that would be really nice i just want to play with the scroll wheel okay Let's install the software. So I'm at the Zensi Labs Quick Keys web page, and I don't know where to support. That's probably what I want. Download drivers. Hey, I'm smart. All right, I'm on Windows 10, so we'll download that. Okay, so there's nothing for Chrome, but there is something for Linux. Uh, so I could use the Linux mode on my Chromebook and use this on my Chromebook. Installation complete. Let's do a guided setup. Usually I would definitely do a manual setup, but in this case, let's get guided. For devices button before proceeding, so let's connect. Okay, we are connected. Ah, there we go. These devices have been detected on your system. Oh yeah, and we got the yellow light around the rotary knob. I forgot you can have that indicate different things. If the device, if using the device with your left hand, which I probably will, we recommend the dial right orientation. For right-handed use, we recommend dial left. Yeah, I think I actually want dial bottom. You know what? I'm gonna try their suggestion. I'm gonna try the dial right suggestion. 
application custom settings. All right, all right, I can't do anything here. It's just telling me I gotcha. Okay, we don't need to do the product registration right now. My quick keys is at 67%. Now I wonder if I can go ahead and unplug it. No, but I don't understand. Manage wireless pairing, there we go. Connect device via USB, plug in dongle, select, collect a sim, dongle not connected. Come on, Windows, detect my dongle. There we go. Setting up Zensi Labs dongle. Device to pair, quick keys. Do you want to replace quick keys? Yes. Okay. We are done with the wire now. All right, so by default on the Zensi Labs quick keys, we've got Undo, redo, copy, paste, shift, control, alt, and space. Okay. Undo, redo, copy, paste, shift, control, alt, and space. So I imagine, you know, these will work in any program right now. Dial click sequence. So when you click right now on the dial, you're just rotating through. Okay, so that was brush size, scroll, zoom, rotate wow that's really nice brush size scroll zoom rotate so let's see if that works in like chrome now oh, scroll works wow that's actually that's a really nice feature just to have that work in chrome there's a lot of application i can think of for that now we're on zoom oh yeah works in chrome too now we're on rotate that might not do anything in chrome that makes sense I don't think there's really anything to rotate in Chrome. And brush size probably won't do anything in Chrome. All right. But just being able to use this little knob to scroll in Chrome <laughs> might make this worth it on its own. I mean, not really, but that is. I wonder if this button does anything. Not, I mean, oh, I see other set A. Oh, so maybe that can switch between sets. Let's see in the software here. So that's, you can just have different button combinations on each set. Wow. So this is... Okay, and I get my Photoshop, and I get my Illustrator presets already built in there, which is really nice. So, I wonder if you can, wow, and it does look like most of this is customizable. So let's see, mode one, zoom. You can change the dial sensitivity, you can change the dial color, you can change it to zoom, scroll, rotate, or a keystroke, or disable. Okay, that's great, so you can change, you, know, you can change mode one to a keystroke. So, I mean, I wonder if that would mean that was a keystroke that that would happen when you scrolled. That's interesting. I get it. Okay, so you can have one keyboard shortcut in one direction and one keyboard shortcut in the other direction. That's pretty clever. So I could have control delete when I scroll to the left and have control C when I scroll to the right. So zoom is red, rotate is orange, yellow is brush size, green is layer, and you don't even have to like memorize that because it gives you every time you switch, it does tell you what you're switching to, which is extremely nice. Yeah, I'm actually curious. So it says it, it says it pre-installs the scenes for different programs that you have installed on your computer and it got my Photoshop, it got my Adobe Illustrator, but it didn't get my Lightroom. Copy from Photoshop or Illustrator. Okay, so I gave myself a Lightroom preset, but I don't think it comes with anything preset to Lightroom. So yeah, quick keys. Sometimes when names of things are so generic, like quick keys, it describes it perfectly, 100%, but sometimes it is very hard for me to remember because it's such a generic name. Turning on the ZenC Labs quick keys, let's see if it'll do anything in Lightroom. First of all, okay, zoom in, zoom out works, but does the scroll do anything? No, let's see if I click on, ah, okay, so someone on Reddit has a great idea. They said, for a workaround in the quick keys menu, you can just select one of the dial modes and reprogram it to minus and equals keys for counterclockwise and clockwise spins, and then if you're in that mode, so mode one, I turn to keystroke, call it, adjust minus for the scroll up equals for the scroll down so this should allow me to adjust uh those sliders in lightroom let's see if i click on one no dice have it what do i need to click on Ah, okay, I'm just clicking in the wrong place. I was just clicking on the actual slider when you need to click on the name. Now I do wonder if I can go down. Huh. So down and up just automatically adjusts the blacks. OK, 
Okay, I don't know what that did. Oh, that moved. Cycle through basic panel settings, period and comma is forward and backwards. So maybe, 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 maybe that will work. Let's see, period. Ah, yes, there we go. So that's all we need to do. So for Lightroom, really what you want is your scroll wheel set to minus and equals for the left and right scrolls, and then a period and comma shortcut buttons here. Okay, let's do that. So let's make five period, period, done. Keystroke, comma, okay. Okay, yeah, I gotta reverse it, but that is perfect. Very user-friendly software. This case is actually gonna be the comma. Cool, so now we've got two commas, change this comma to a period. Okay, so now this is the setup you want for Lightroom. Honestly, if you didn't do anything else with this controller for Lightroom, it might be worth it just for this. I think the other shortcut you'd have to set up is just left and right, next picture. In fact, I'm just gonna do that while we're here. Okay, so now I think this setup, yeah. So yeah, with this simple setup, it's four keys and a scroll wheel. You could actually do maybe most of your Lightroom editing without touching the actual keyboard. You can go through pictures left and right. I am going, you know, through the pictures. When I find something, I can hit period or comma, and it just goes to whatever adjustment I want to adjust. Let's go down to dehaze, turn that up. Okay, that made it kind of dark. Let's go back up to exposure and turn that up. And of course I am not gonna do a good job editing this picture. This is just <laughs> to show how the quick keys works. Uh, highlights, let's bring those down a little bit. It is looking maybe a little bit better. This isn't the best version of this picture I took. Um, the shadows, let's bring the shadows up. I wanna see the dark parts a little better. Yeah, and these are pretty small increments. That is nice. For me, not having to touch your mouse at all in this process really makes it actually a lot more productive. Having some some sort of physical uh, buttons and knobs separate from the mouse and keyboard interface for the computer really helps me be more productive. Okay, modify black clipping. This is amazing. Now, I wanna see how many settings you can control without using the mouse. So uh, on, I keep on wanting to point with my finger, but I need to point with my mouse. Right here, we're over on dehaze. If I click period, we go down to vibrance. We go down to saturation, and I don't know what happens after that. Temperature. So where, oh, I went right back up to the top. Okay, so you are limited to the basic controls. Now I wonder if I click like highlights and tone curve. Yeah, so maybe the same thing. Ooh, that's unfortunate. The comma and period keys seem to specifically be for the basic controls. So it can't take you into other, like the tone curve and the detail and the split toning. That's unfortunate. Now I'm gonna see, I bet Lightroom has other keys for those and you can probably just set some of these other keys. So I've still got four keys left on this one screen and this modifier uh, lets you have multiple screens of keys. So let's see if there's a tone curve shortcut. But if I click, let's see, if I click highlights, the the quick keys scroll wheel definitely works on anything you click it on. I just don't know if there's a way to get to the next in tone curve, get to the next modifier. Oh yeah, I did add a Homer Simpson to my desk in the middle of shooting this, so I better show what this little donut is that you can see. At Goodwill, I found a little uh, Ikea glass dome, and I just put Homer and his donut in it. And I didn't realize you'd be able to, I didn't realize you'd be able to kind of see the donut in this video, but that works out perfectly. Another pink thing in, in, in the frame. Okay, I'm gonna check. So there's tone curve. Let's see if split toning has a shortcut key where you can switch through the different parameters. So split toning, fine. Huh. Okay, so I think for more in-depth editing with the quick keys, you're gonna have to just use the mouse or, you know, actually, one thing I will say is you probably don't have to use the mouse. You're probably going to be using a tablet. Just extremely handy. So so now I can toggle between the two displays or toggle to both displays. I never noticed that my Wacom showed me with the light that it knew when I was hovering. So yeah, this is a much more realistic setup of how someone would 
edit probably in Lightroom or Photoshop. You're using your pen tablet, which can be annoying to do certain things, especially like minor adjustments. So you can just click on temp, adjust your temp with the scroll wheel. So, you know, you could, I mean, the nice thing is you could even like go through all your basic settings, bring your exposure where you want it, put your contrast where you want it, go through everything, get to the bottom, saturation. Let's make it way too saturated just so we can see we've done something. Now we're back up to temperature, but you can at this point then use your pen to click on highlights, adjust your highlights and your tone curve. You can adjust the highlights. You know, I'm not much of a photo editor and I never use the tone curve, but I'm just realizing that it's actually probably what I want to use to lighten up my pictures. Someone let me know if that's correct or let me know if it's wrong. Once you click back into basics, it starts controlling that again. I imagine if you click into the tone curve, it's still on basics, yeah. So it defaults to uh, adjusting the basic controls, which is probably the best. You don't wanna be adjusting some random controls down here without realizing it. Okay, so that's really nice. It'll hold on to that association until you click into the basics box, pretty much. So that way you could come in here, do drawing, do uh, editing in certain parts, whatever you wanted while still still just adjusting the one parameter you had selected. Pretty much a win for Lightroom. I was Lightroom was one of the programs that I was worried about. I saw online that the Loop Deck had a lot of Lightroom settings that were maybe proprietary or they worked with Adobe to figure out and a lot of those settings were not going to be available in the Quick Keys. But pretty much the main things you need for Lightroom are completely available in the Quick Keys. You can switch through photos, you can switch through your parameters. It's actually kind of nice that your period and your comma just always cycle through your basic settings. So no matter where you are in the software, you can cycle through your basic settings and adjust something. If you were click the full screen toggle and <laughs> I still don't know why it is doing this behavior where it flashes seven times or something before it goes into full screen, but it seems like it works now. That's good. So that's super handy. So even I bet, yeah, in full screen, you can pull your photo up into full screen on the quick keys, move to the next photo, adjust all your basic parameters, move up and down the list of basic parameters. But man, that's super handy without ever using the keyboard. You can go through a bunch of pictures and modify all your basic settings. Uh, yeah, I bought a product the other day and I liked it Made this video about it, hope you liked it And subscribe to my channel and check out my sh Let me know in the comment, I am not psychic The Zen Z Labs quick keys distill quickly They beat shortcuts, keystrokes and scrolls Now roll with me swiftly USB C dongle, nifty, long charge OLED screen's a bit iffy, but super practical, practically magical. Actually, I am not sponsored or something for companies naturally. I buy my own product and author my own thoughts. Gotta admit, I like this particular item a whole lot. Pretty much the whole box, the full lot. Only the hard to read screens are giving me pause, but I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. Yeah. Undo, redo, copy, paste, shift, control, alt, and space. That's the default configuration of the quick keys. It's great. Undo, redo, copy, paste, shift, control, alt, and space. That's the default configuration of the quick keys. It's great. Undo, redo, copy, paste, shift, control, alt, and space. That's the. Okay. <laughs>